Could you show us that last weld you just did? Without just show it up to the screen, that corner you just did. I figure once you dial it in, it it tends to it tends to go fairly well once you get used to the metal. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of learn the speed you got to move, especially with thin aluminums, you know, it you just got to it's very it's very fast. So when I'm first trying to figure it out, I might be going a little too slow. You could see that one went like really smooth and quick. What's been your experience with uh, you know, TIG TIG welding is is artisan versus MIG and trying to find good TIG welders is always fun. Um have you found that MIG people are able to pick this up a little bit easier than a uh, traditional TIG since you do both? You know, it really, it really depends on the, uh, the person. Um, some people are a little bit more open-minded as far as understanding that this is just not going to be like either of them. Um, you know, I, I have sometimes had trouble with people uh, who are MIG, MIG welders kind of, kind of like, you know, they're, in some instances, the laser, you do kind of want to uh, manipulate the gun a little bit, but if the fit up is good, you should just go in a straight line. That's difficult for people with TIG or sorry, MIG sometimes because they want to like do this, you know, like that kind of action. Um, TIG welders, the problem I see with them trying to do it is they have, you know, <laughs> their your main goal when you're TIG welding is not dip the tungsten, right? Uh, so touching the surface during a weld is a little bit foreign to TIG welders. The interesting thing is the people that seem to have the easiest time at this just don't have any welding experience. Um, Cause they have nothing, they have nothing to unlearn basically. Um, when, when you start using the laser, what you need to understand is that all the technique that you've gathered from MIG and TIG welding, you're not gonna use any of that. The only thing that you wanna use is if you have knowledge of what the metal does when it heat, it gets put into it. Um, that's like the only thing that really you wanna retain um but yeah i mean it, it just kind of varies i've seen some people that struggle with it at first typically you'll get the hang of it within a day um some people pick it up immediately like especially people with non-welders sometimes they'll get it within you know <laughs> the very first try and they just understand it and they're like oh okay i get it um it's very interesting yeah it is interesting we had a guy come in that did a similar thing as this uh, but it was for like an irrigation uh, system that goes like under a deck, you know, at your house. Um, and he came here, I think, from Arizona with his daughter, who was like 14, and she'd never welded. And she was doing better than him well, right off the bat. <laughs> um, and he's been welding with a TIG. So uh, it, just, it just depends. I can't say like, uh, you know, the, the typical uh, experience for 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 um, people that are just gathering this skill.